Hey, it's your boy Picante Nino coming at you with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Node Wars. There's a lot of confusion when it comes to caps in Node Wars and what to run and what is good. I'm going to give you guys the tools to figure out for yourselves instead of telling you exactly what you should run. Obviously, I'm going to provide both, but yes, I want to give you guys more insight on why we run these items over other items. So this is going to be a pretty simple Node Wars video on things that I choose to personally run. But also, it's going to open up the doors for you guys to create your own builds for Node Wars. It's not going to be complicated at all, even though it does sound complicated. But this is by far the most beginner-friendly Node War video you guys could possibly watch. So let's just jump into it. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do to actually know what we need to run for the caps. I don't even know what node war we're doing today. And honestly, the first thing I do whenever I see a node war get posted is I go to the map on the server that it's on, right? And then you're going to see up right here, you're going to click on node war information and you're going to go to wherever your guild has placed. So this one is telling me that the node war is right here. We hover over this and then it gives you all the stats that this node war is actually... Uh, this is basically the golden page of where you need to go to to see everything that you need for Node Wars, right? So this one's telling me that my AP limit is 245. And then it tells me that my AP is 684. So that means like we already hit the cap for the AP. We don't need to worry about it. So that means every single thing that you see that's red is something that you can actually, you know, manipulate with your crystals or accessories as well. So, once we have this baseline of what we need to do, then we can actually equip certain things to actually make us do more damage. For example, I have too much AP. There is accessories that I can replace my, my AP accessories with so I can get more special attack damage in. And what I mean by that is that there's accessories in the game that are called the Chimera Earrings and the Kaya Necklace. These you could get by doing quests in Trent. And just look them up. I'm going to put them on the screen right now so you guys can look up the Chimera earrings. But this basically gives you down attack damage plus 10% for the earrings. So it's 20% more damage than you need whenever you're hitting someone on the floor. And then the Chimera necklace gives you back attack damage in case you get behind people and you hit them in the back. So you're just getting pre basically plus percentage damage. And this damage... This special plus percent damage on certain, you know, what is it, statuses actually go over the AP cap. So that's why you end up running cheesy accessories like this. And this is going to be the whole theme of the, the video. Basically, hey man, you look at your stats, right? You look at your stats. Oh snap, I have too much AP. Let's see if we could lose some AP. And still hit the cap by running these cheesy builds. And this also goes for your accessories as well. So well, let's actually go through this, right? I have that much AP. I'm going to equip my Chimeras and my Kaya. Right? I have 255 AP. Whoa, that's kind of low, man. But your crystals also are taken into account as well on top of your food buffs and your villa buffs. Right? So I just lost 200 AP, but I'm at 491. So this is why people complain about Node Wars being capped because people like me who are 700 plus gear score could afford just to lose three accessory slots to these plus percentage damage accessories. Keep in mind, we're not done here yet, okay you guys? We still got to talk about crystals, right? So once you guys are done and you guys know that you guys could run these Chimera accessories, then you can start messing around with your crystals. So let's start doing that. Okay, so we're going to start talking about crystals now, you guys. Crystals are very important when it comes to Nodor. And there's actually, you need to have two crystal builds. One that just has a lot of HP in case you guys go into Nodowars that do not have HP caps. So I'm going to show you just the regular build that I take in when HP is not capped. And so if you notice that this is a pretty goofy build. Let me actually equip it. This is a pretty goofy build. And the reason why I say it's goofy is that here let me put this on the screen you're gonna have a bunch of l cars right you're gonna have a bunch of uh what is it visionary l cars because they ignore resistance by 10 percent 
And you know what's really crazy about this is that ignoring resistance and making sure that your CCs go through is actually really important. It doesn't give me HP, I mean it doesn't give me AP or anything to kill anyone faster, but it does make it a lot where people get knocked down whenever I throw out the CC. This is going to be the whole theme of this whole video, like I said before. We don't care about AP, we're already AP cap, so we're just going to be running stuff that has plus percent and actually help us out in different ways. The next crystal that I want to point out that gives you a crap ton of damage is your Corrupted Crystals, your Corrupted Magic Crystals. If you guys see, it's the second purple one, and that one basically gives you critical hit damage plus 10%. Dude, that's 20% critical hit damage that you're just getting for free, and it's not capped, you guys. That's This is why it's, it's just a bunch of people that are high gears who are running these crazy, don't make sense accessories just so they could be doing the extra damage. If, if you notice that this build that I'm running right now is even more cheesy, if we go down the line, I'm running double a Lucas, and I'm running Ograds. The only reason that I run that is because I want plus attack speed and casting speed. So that's just 4% attack speed and a, uh, attack speed across the board with those four crystals. The next important crystal on this list is the Jin Glorious Special Evasion. This right here basically makes you the maximum tankiness that you need. You need to be running Corrupted and Special Attack Evasion, which is the Jin Glorious Crystal of Honor and your Corrupted Magic Crystals. Out of everything that you could take out of this build, every single Node War build is going to have those three crystals. The two Corrupted and the Jin Glorious Crystal of Honor. That's going to be the three crystals that are going to be required, okay? And then honestly, the other one, the resistance is obviously the more resistance you run, the maximum you can cap it out, which is great, right? And then here's an interesting one, the Macaloids. The Macaloids are basically just give me more stamina and that, that's basically it. It really doesn't help me out too much. It gives me more stamina. It gives me a lot of ignore resistance. I play a Zerker. I'm a CC bot. So I know for a fact the more I'm chunking away at that resistance, the better it is for me and my team whenever I hit my Crybaby ultimate that everyone around me has the maximum amount of chance to get stunned by. I do not want people resisting my 100% ultimate, so that's why I make it a point to run ignore resist. So that's why this build is so heavy on ignore resist. Obviously, you guys can mix and match whatever you guys want. Just make sure that your AP cap and your things are actually capped out. Another thing, too, is, hey, man, what should I be running between offhands? It would be between Kudum and Nuber. The only reason I run Kudum is because Kudum also has Ignore Resist plus 10%. So that means I'm running a crap ton of Ignore Resist, basically to the point where they're below 10%. And if you're below 10%, like, it's going to be really damn hard for you to resist my 100% Zerker ultimate. Unless you're right on top of me and you could grab me. But that's about it, you guys. If you need more AP, you obviously run the Nuber. The Nuber doesn't have, you know, 10% ignore resistance, but it has 10% all resistance. So, we'll see, man. We'll see. Like, it's just all up to you. I'm giving you guys the tools so you guys can make educated decisions on what to run. This is the whole point of, um, of cap node wars. If you meet the caps, bro, you can start doing goofy stuff. And once you can start doing goofy stuff, bro, you can start making these builds once you get here, bro. Once you get here, if you notice that now my special attack evasion is 20%. That's good, right? That's really good. So now we just need to work on accuracy and evasion rate. Zerker really doesn't need that much accuracy in terms of, you know, killing people. In Node Wars and Evasion Rate, Zerker doesn't really scale too much off of Evasion, so I kind of just ignore those two stats. But the rest of the stats, you want to max out. For the love of God, you want to max out. And it depends. You can make these decisions based on the way how your playstyle is and the way how you play as an individual. But yeah, so this is the kind of crystal build that I run. Basically focuses on a bunch of ignore resistance and a bunch of attack speed and a bunch of... Uh, what's that called? stamina so i could just be zooming all over the place other classes they build something more different more damage but basically you just want to know that you're going to be running crystals that give you extra stats that aren't just damage and this is a crystal build that i've been using as an awakening berserker i end up going like 89 kills and 14 deaths on tier twos and so this is an actual build that i run 
So, let me show you guys the other crystal build for HP. I'm pretty sure there's other crystal builds for HP, but this is the one that I run that puts me all the way up to 11,000 HP without a shot. So let's run into that. Okay, so now we have basically succeeded the part where we are going into a nodeware that has no HP caps. And if you guys don't know, just ask your guild, hey man, does this, does this have HP caps? And they'll tell you, right? They'll tell you. So, in order for you to be running HP, you're just going to be running a, a derpy build, okay? You're going to be running a derpy build. And what I mean by a derpy build, you're just going to put all the HP, bro. No damage, it's just all HP. And the, this is why I say to mix and match for your personal class. Because my personal playstyle, I love being tanky. I love being tanky. You see that max HP, bro? 1,550 health? Like, jeez, bro, that's a lot of HP, man. And you can actually use house buffs too in tandem with this to actually get your HP even more up there. And even more crazier elixirs too as well. But we, we're not going to talk about elixirs right now. So this is just going to be a little segue, a little side note for people who are wanting to run a more HP focused build. This is it, but it has zero damage. You know how I was telling you that you need your two corrupted uh, crystals and your special honor, I mean your, your special attack evasion? Those are the two crystals that are always going to be on your build regardless of what you're at. Unless you want to be a complete DP meme whenever you're not on the HP caps. Because honestly, I could just slot in more HP crystals right there. But this is the general baseline of crystals. It's going to be always your corrupted magic crystals. If you're not running two corrupted magic crystals and you're not running the special attack evasion, you're not capping on a special attack evasion, you have to cap out on those two stats. Those are just freebie stats that just give you a lot of bang for your buck. A lot of people don't realize how crazy tanky you get with special attack evasion. So run it, run it, it's free, it's there. The crystals are actually there on the marketplace. So this is what I use for crystals. Pretty simple, right? Just keep on mixing and matching whatever you want. You know, who cares? If you, uh, what's that called, lose a bunch of AP when you already meet the cap. So just run stuff to, and then basically fuck around find out, you guys. OMG, right? It's it's pretty crazy. So now we're going to be going over basically food buffs and villa buffs. The, the whole nine yards when it comes to additive buffs. Food buffs, villa buffs, elixirs, church buffs. And it's all going to be very simple, you guys. But I just want to keep in mind that ap doesn't matter in this it all matters about plus percentage special attack damage because it goes over the caps so let's just jump into it okay so before i actually jump into the food buffs the villa buffs and all the other additive buffs like elixirs and all that stuff caroline buff i'm gonna let you guys know that this is the part where a lot of new players ignore okay and this part could actually be taken even further and further and further to the point where it just becomes disgusting and expensive to actually do node wars. So I don't want you guys to get discouraged. And for me, this is where I keep things very simple. So what well, I already told you guys what to be looking for for node wars. You want to go over the caps by getting secondary ways to get plus percentage damage that do not necessarily add to your overall AP. So we already have that in mind. It's burned into our heads, right? So, you know, we're just going to be popping, you know, simple exquisite cron meal. We're going to be popping the villa enhancement buff, right? And the reason why is that, you know, we, we just do it. It gives you all ignore resistance. We really don't think about it. This is just the, 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 the line that I go through that everyone goes through and it doesn't hurt you and it doesn't help you too, too much, but it is not bad to run. So you obviously just want to run the attack and the, the protection. Really don't really care about what the stats are. That should just be your default once you're leveling up for node one, right? Obviously, if you want to run your skill add-ons when they become, you know, what's that called? For PvP, you know, and you could actually make your PvP add-ons more specific towards plus percentage down attack damage instead of giving you all AP towards humans, because all AP towards humans goes to the overall AP stats. So you want to run something like plus 3% critical hit damage for 10 seconds, something like that on your skill add-ons, right? So you guys can mix and match. This is a part where this thing becomes super complicated, right? 
but just run whatever PvP add-ons you got. You could actually make them a lot more, you know, focused for Node Wars. But these are the buffs you want. You have your buffs right here. We got the standard food buff and the villa buff and the church buff rotations. Once you have that going on, if you are fortunate enough to be in high Dell, you guys are going to go over here. And literally the minute before Node Wars starts, you're going to go over here. You're going to talk to an NPC called Caroline. She's going to give you a crit buff that is OPAF. And it only lasts 30 minutes. So it gives you critical hit damage plus 10% just for a couple of energy. For like, what, 10, 20 energy? 25 energy? It is a pretty damn good buff to have in Node War. You actually notice the damage difference because after 30 minutes, people don't hit that hard. And you, you kind of you notice it. So after that, once I get all my stuff, all my skill add-ons there, then it's starting to, hey man, what elixirs am I going to run? You can make this very complicated, bro. But what I like to do is just have giant shrouds, dog. Because giant shrouds give you what they call extra all attack damage plus 10%. All special attack damage plus 10%. You don't care about the rest, right? The critical hit, you know, it, it might help out depending on how your crystals are, are uh, set up. But the special attack damage plus 10%, that's why people run giant shrouds. You just keep on popping them. And if you want to go the extra, extra mile, this is the furthest that I've taken it in Node War, is running Elixirs of Deep Sea, and this one is extremely potent. It is ridiculous how good this is for Captain Node Wars. Back attack damage, down attack damage, and air attack damage, plus 10%, bro. It's like adding an additional Corrupted into your Crystal build. The thing is, is that these things, whenever you die with these Elixirs, you kind of, you kind of like, don't want them to, like... You don't want to pop them because these are 28 million a piece, bro. So like this is a very expensive death whenever you just pop both of these, right? It's like a 20, we're gonna, we're gonna just say it's a 30 million death and you do die a lot. It's like what? I die, what, 20 times per Node War? So what, that's like 600 mil just on deaths? It is ridiculous. But what you could do is that you could just use, a, what is it, Immortal Droughts and combine these and make these Deep Sea Elixirs Immortal. So you only need like three deep sea immortals to actually like do a whole node war. So yeah, it's practically about 400-ish mil an hour. Uh, like yeah, it's about 400-ish mil an hour for you to be running these elixirs of deep sea, which is honestly kind of good if you want to actually do and go above and beyond to other people. But this is my simple build. Obviously, you could be running a whole food buff rotation. You know, you could be running your 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 Calfion meal, your... I forgot what the, the Knight's Combat Ration. You could be running that whole set, bro, and it, it just gets really complicated from there. You could be running these elixirs, right? Like, all of these, these elixirs that you could be running. I use these for grinding sometimes. But, you know, this is what separates people from being super, super tryhard to people being like, yeah, I know what I'm doing, but I'm going to keep it simple. And then there's people who just do not run anything and they get farmed, right? So I want you guys to be like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to keep it simple. I want everyone to be there because keeping it simple, you can actually compete with people who are taking it very try hard and be making them waste like almost a billion plus per node word. And it just feels good whenever you just like smack someone down with a crap ton of elixirs, bro. And you're like, yeah, look at my immortal deep sea drought, bro. I'm only spending 400 mil this node word, dog. You're, uh, you're over there in the billions already, dog. So that's what I mean by just keeping it simple, right? After this, we're going to go over artifacts. Artifacts are basically the same thing as your crystals. Treat them exactly the same way as your crystals. So let's just run into that. Okay, future Picante. I forgot to put in this segment into the thing, into this guide. And this is actually a pretty important segment. So whenever you hit K and you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you notice that you have these skills that actually give you buffs to Node Wars and only to Node Wars. So you have all these skills and you're like, whoa, Bicante, I didn't know I had those skills. Me neither, dog. So this is what I want to <laughs> convey to you guys. So whenever you do Node Wars, you get these metal battle, these uh, suspended metal of honors, okay? You go here, you click here, and this is all that it gives you. These are all the rewards. People just see all the stuff that they could get, right? Like the elixirs and all that jazz, right? But what you really don't see are the, the secret books of guild tactics. These are going to be sprinkled all over here. 
So you need to actually get these in order in order for you to unlock those Nodor skills that make you more tankier. So this one, you need to actually buy them individually, starting from 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 5. So they're sprinkled in here. So you're going to be using your Medal of Honors to get these stats so you can become more tankier in Nodor. I did not know this for the longest time until someone pointed it out to me. But yeah, this is what you guys are looking at if you guys want to actually be really good and actually be literally 100% with the minimum amount of effort into it. Another thing that I forgot to tell you guys about is that if you guys want to be, want to be running Elixirs of Deep Seas, do a Reno Solaire, dude. Find a person to queue up, do a Reno Solaire, they're actually really good. And then if you guys need um, Elixirs of Immortality, they're there too. So it's just basically everything's there. The stuff that I run is so simple to get because number one, I run Solaire a decent amount. So I have a decent amount of Elixirs of Deep Sea. And same thing with Elixir of Immortality. But the biggest one that I, a lot of people are forgetting is the secret guild tactics. These guild tactic books, you need to buy them in order. And so the skills that they give you, all the way down here, are basically magic DP plus 5, magic evasion rate plus 1%. That one's really good. You always want plus percentage instead of raw damage, okay? Plus percentage actually helps you out a lot more. So these three sets down here, they're going to be giving you plus percentage these three on top are going to give you flat amounts so obviously the plus percentages are going to be the ones you're going to want to take to cap nodewars so with that you guys me personally i kind of like to take the range evasion plus one percent because i die to like witches rangers all these other classes that are crazy right but and then you might be like well this the guild that i know we're gonna fight has a lot of wizards and all that jazz so might as well do that as well but the one that I think is the best is honestly the ranged. The ranged is really important in uh, Node Wars. So just take the ranged and max that out. So before all of that, and before all of that, we're going to go into artifacts, like I said before. But I just had to put this little side note in because I can't believe I forgot it. So yeah, let's just continue. Okay, so now we are going over artifacts, because artifacts do play a decent role into uh, basically Node Wars in general. And the best ones for capped Node Wars and actually uncapped Node Wars when it comes to HP, the Kuba's artifact is like by far the best because it gives you the most HP. Most people just have a Kuba artifact and a shit ton of HP crystals inside of it, and then they're done, right? But the way how I run Kuba artifacts is this is my grinding set, and I'm not bougie enough to have just a Kuba artifact set solely for Node Wars. I'm not, I'm not him. Okay, I'm just a regular gamer who works a nine to five. You know, so I actually am running two strikes for my Kuba artifact, and it gives me plus three percent damage, critical hit damage, which goes over the cap. So if you guys aren't noticing it right now, I'm pretty sure it's already burned in your head. Look for a Lightstone combination and artifact set that allow you to just squeeze out that extra cheesy damage of plus percentage you know i know that having two strikes is kind of like kind of bougie you know that's like ooh, i'm a macho man but the thing is is that if you guys could run it you guys know exactly what we're looking for this is artifacts it's basically treat them like another form of your crystal set if you guys are running you know into a node word that doesn't have caps for hp you can just be running an hp you know, set right here with Wind of Heart. And so that's it, you guys. I appreciate you guys watching the video. I know it's a little bit simple, right? And those of you guys, I'm just going to sum it up for you guys on a very quick thing. If you guys are looking to get into Node Wars, look at wherever you're placing. Look at the stats. You can basically look at the stats of anything beforehand, right? You can look at the stats. Okay, right here, I'm not meeting it. I'm not meeting this. I'm like five, uh, what's that called? Four, four, I'm like 3 AP away from the cap for this uh, tier 3. Okay, cool. So I'm, I'm 3 AP away from this. I'll just pop a uh, Giant Strout, right? And then it just, boom, I'm at 492, right? That's all you need to do. All snap my resistances? Hmm. Let's see, let's see. And then you just go down the list. You go down the list, and then you see what's good in the hood. That's what you guys need to be doing in these, these type of things. Whenever you guys are setting up your build for this just start like tinkering with stuff and do not forget 
to to preemptively add your elixirs into the final total because i don't want you guys popping elixirs and be like oh yeah yeah that's it that's it just get the number whatever it's giving you and then add it onto your total ap so with that you guys i appreciate you guys watching it and that's it i stream mondays to thursdays hopefully this was pretty simple and have a great rest of your day